we know that every year uh, there will be monsoon in South and Southeast Asia, there will be hurricanes in the Caribbean. It's usually the most vulnerable that are the most affected by disasters. They are the ones whose houses are washed away first by mudslides and landslides. It makes partnerships vitally important. The Disaster Resource Partnership is a public-private partnership between a group of engineering and construction companies and a group of humanitarian organizations for disaster preparedness and relief. Many of these companies um, actually have offices, works in some of the disaster affected countries, so this is very real for them. Often they are affected. There was an earthquake in Gujarat in India. One of our major engineering and construction companies wanted to help their population and affected staff. And a number of other companies came together and uh, requested the forum to facilitate uh, a partnership. Engineering and construction companies have quite a lot of expertise and uh, practical uh, skills in order to help in a disaster situation. We have a very global presence and sometimes when a disaster happens, it's actually easier for us and even faster for us in order that we can get first engaged. They can respond very quickly, they can be very agile, they can assist the international agencies and the local government and the local communities. The added value of private sector engagement is huge and it's, if anything, surprising that it hasn't been uh, more involved uh, historically. There's a greater understanding by the private sector in general that in order for them to be successful, in order for them to be embedded in the communities in which they work, that they need to be involved in more than just business. What the Disaster Resource Partnership offers um, is a, a streamlining of communications between the humanitarian actors and the private sector companies. The International Federation of Red Cross Red Crescent Societies has entered into a memorandum of understanding with the World Economic Forum. Our role is to coordinate the work of the United Nations agencies, the Red Cross Red Crescent and the non-governmental organisations. We trained uh, engineers from the Disaster Resource Partnership companies so that they could be deployed um, in the event of a disaster. It has to come together with the training of the local administrators with uh, raising awareness of the uh, vulnerabilities and also how you can allow the local community to go back to its feet after these uh, things happen. We have national networks in India, Mexico and in Indonesia and we are looking to expand these networks. The most important area is the issue of building preparedness in the vulnerable communities. If you address this issue, I think it will go a long way. It's about saving lives, it's about minimizing destruction, and it's about recovering faster and quicker than we were able to do so in the past.